All right, Shalom, Shalom. The real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, call Halayim, La Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Mukar, Kadash, Rakatum. All right, salutations to the elect, double honors to the all the apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, once again, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Hop straight into this. All right. It's just, uh, the response to this uh, 12 chart thingamajig, if you will, all right, how it is in prophecy, all right. Now, remember, this is a, a glass um, uh, we see through a dark one. Uh, you know, I roughly paraphrase that, that scripture, all right. But the Lord is going to uh, fill everything in when you know He gets there, but nonetheless, check this out. Ezekiel 37 to 1. The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of a valley which was a full of which is in which uh was full of bones. Alright? So this was a vision. He was taken away in the spirit. Alright. For you niggas that say this happened already, man. Alright? Or or this was ancient. This happened no. This was parabolic of what's going on now. Okay? Where's that valley at? Where's that valley at today? Okay? Where the mass majority of the nation of Israel went into captivity. This final go-round. Yes, we are scattered across the whole world. Due to what? Joel 3. We were taken far from our borders. Through what? Transatlantic slave trade, man. That's how we got scattered. But there's still such a place called Babylon the Great, where this all went down at, who's drunken with the blood of the saints. All right? Bloodshed via slavery. All right? So let's get back into this. Psalms 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. When you look at a valley of, uh, of bones, that's a valley of death, man. Are you... <laughs> You niggas not getting it spiritually, huh? That's it. Listen, you niggas can't deal with the, uh, the scriptures, man. Y'all have no idea what the spirit truly is, man, when it comes to the understanding of these scriptures, man. Some things you can't even utter, man, because it's so heavy in the spirit, man. All right? I will, feel no, uh, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, the rod... And thy staff, they com they comfort me, all right. Which is what, all right? Uh, the, the scriptures, man, all right. But let's get a little deeper, man. Thy rod and thy staff, man. Not only is the truth, the scriptures, what comes along with thy rod and thy staff, man, all right. The prophets, all right. Did not the Lord say He took away the stay uh, in the staff and thy bread? The bread was the truth. The stay of the staff was the prophets. All right, the uh, destruction uh, of Israel, man. The government, all right. The spiritual government, man. The Lord took that away, thus making us desolate. All right, our heritage taken away. Jeremiah seventeen and four. All right, via what transatlantic slave trade, man. A lot of those, hey, a lot of those prophecies was prominent for now. Okay, that's why the prophets of old didn't understand them. All right, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. It's not Yahweh Bashim Yahshai doing that today over here in America in the presence of my enemies, not only here, all across the world, man. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. And look how many videos getting pushed, man, by the true doctrine, man. I ain't, I ain't talking about you other camps, but the true doctrine, man. All right, but hey, you other camps are, are saying the name Yahweh Shai, so at least the world is. Started to understand how Yahweh Shai, who is this? Let's research it. All right. So one way or another, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to be preached. Okay. But let's get back to these uh, uh, dry bones. Let's get back to this sign. All right. And sh and show you niggas how spiritual it really was. All right. Or really is. All right. It says Ezekiel thirty-seven and eleven. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these be the bones of the whole house of Israel. All right? Behold, 
They say, O oh, bones are dried, and our hope is lost, and we are cut off from our parts. Ephesians what? 2. All right? Without the common rough of Israel, we were Gentiles according to the flesh, not knowing who the fuck we were, man. Okay? Therefore, and hey, that's why I said they were, we were cut off. You can find that in Joel 3. All right? It says we was without hope, lost in the world, man. Okay? It says, therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus saith you have thy power. Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. All right, the Lord is going to do that physically. Take us out of this grave, America, this valley, all right, and put us in our own land, all right? And you shall know that I am Yahweh and have opened your graves, O my people, I have brought you out of your graves, all right? Let's get this revelation. Let's prove that, man. Revelations 11 and 7, okay? And when they shall be have finished their testimony, all right, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit, all right, which, hey, where did this beast originate at? Europe, man, all right? Okay? Shall make war against them and shall overcome, overcome them. How ah, does, hey, that same fourth beast that did what? prevailed against the saints all right that fourth beast came back man all right it's called america all right that spirit of rome is back man okay so that hey, that, that same a hey, that same horn right so let's, let's get into this because this talks about egypt and sodom all right but it says um And kill them, all right? And their bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, Babylon the Great, not the fucking Vatican, man, all right? Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, all right? Last time I checked, all right, all the saints weren't in the Vatican, all right? They weren't over there, all right? <laughs> Where also our Lord was crucified. So it's, um,. And you know a nigga with precept uh Israel should have been uh we would have been in Sodom and Gomorrah to prove this uh well to say this part that it wasn't talking about America. All right, it was talking about it, uh Israel, all right? No. All right, this is talking about where we where we currently stay, over here in uh the United States, man. This place is Sodom, man. This place is Egypt, man. All right? According to the actual name, man, Mitz uh, Mitzrayim, all right? These double straights. These, hey, this is bondage, man. All right? Hey, it really is double straights because guess what? Not only were we slaves physically, and yes, to a certain extent, we still are today, but if, uh, spiritually, all right, they have be, uh, um, made us slaves, man. All right? Okay? And how was our Lord crucified over her? Because our Lord wasn't crucified in Egypt or Sodom. All right, he was crucified in the land of Israel, man. All right, I believe so. All right, yeah, yeah, in the land of yeah, Israel. Oh, uh, but nonetheless, um, <clears throat> that's what that's talking about. Uh, they destroyed his image over here. All right, they destroyed his uh, uh well, they tried to destroy his doctrine, so on and so forth, and put up their own images, man. All right. It says, and they of the people and countries and tongues and nations to see their dead bodies three and a half days, which goes into that certain amount of years. It should not suffer their dead bodies uh, to be put in graves. And they that dwell on earth should rejoice over them and make marriage to send gifts one to another, which they did. And they got rich off the backs of slaves, all right? Because these two prophets torment to them, all right, which represents uh, the two um, kingdoms of Israel. And they actually represent two actual men, all right? It says, um, torment to them that dwelt on the earth, okay? So, hey, hey, this, um, this grave, this graveyard is called America, man, all right? So let's get into Ezekiel 37 to 16. Let's get into these sticks, man, okay? Let's get into this sign, all right? 
Let's get into this wood board. Remember, Ezekiel 37, you want to stay in context, right? Ezekiel 37 started and said the Lord um, <clears throat> took him up in the spirit. All right? Matter of fact, in the A, right, because it starts with verse 15. Uh, this is Ezekiel 37, 15. And the word of Yahweh came again to me. All right? So the same way it came to him the first time, it came again to him, saying, Moreover, son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel. It says, For Judah and for the children of Israel and his companions, and another stick, write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, which uh, represents who? The northern kingdom, and all the house of Israel and his companions, man. So all the tribes. Join them one to, to another. Where did we get joined together at? Let's see. Where did we join together at? All right. Slap your bell button. All right, here I go. Um, this is Jeremiah 3 and 17. And at that time, shall I call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord? No, no, no. Verse 18. Verse 18 is what I want. All right. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read 17. At that time, they should call, call Jerusalem at the throne of... Uh, I'm starting 16. And it should come to pass... When ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days, saith the Lord, they shall no, uh, they shall say no more at the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done any more. Because what we lost our heritage, all right? We were, uh, moved far from our borders once again, all right. So hey, we became not a people, all right? Hosea the first chapter, all right. What place was that? The same place they weren't called the children of God, they were called the children of the living power. What what place was that first said unto them? Babylon the great, man. All right? Us being converted, us being wo woken back up, man. You guys, once again, you guys have no idea how deep the spirit truly is. But let's go back into this. Neither should they walk any more after the imaginations of the uh, Salakia. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it in the name of Yahweh to Jerusalem. Neither should they walk any more after the imagination of the evil heart. All right, because the Lord is starting to what? Make us right. All right, in those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. Hmm, two sticks coming together, right? And they shall come together out of the land of the, uh, Salakia, out of the land of the north of the land where I have given Salakia, out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for inheritance unto their fathers. Hmm. Where's the land of the north? That same graveyard. That same valley of death. Babylon the Great. Not ancient Babylon. Not Vatican. You don't know how to link the scriptures nor spirit, uh, the spirit uh, together. Okay? So, let's go back to um, Ezekiel 37. And join them one to one stick, and they should become one in thy hand. And the children, so like and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? So when you see that 12 tr tr uh, tribes uh, chart, all right, no matter what tribe you're from, because who really knows? Yes, this is all off the spirit. It's what we believe, man. All right? The spirit bear witness with our spirits that we're the children of the Most High. All right, because what? Because of the prophecies. We went through slavery. We went through this. We went through that. We got the curses placed upon us. It don't matter how you look. Are the curses upon you? Then that should tell you who the Israelites are or not, man. All right? No matter how you look, man. All right? You know how many dark-skinned niggas are from the north? Uh, uh, and, the, and I mean that look like Judites. There may be fucking Israelites, so on and so forth. That's how much we're scattered, man. 
You got Judah in Mexico. You hey, you got Issachar in, in, in fucking New York. Uh, you got Issachar in fucking Africa. It, whatever, man. Scattered. But through the spirit, we believe that we're these certain tribes because the spirit uh, that the Bible describes these tribes as and what they do. Thus, Romans 8 uh, and 16, man. Once again, that's why we say it's spiritual. It was a prophecy that this was going to happen. What do you mean by these? All right? Say it to them, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, and his fellows, fellows, and I shall put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they should be one in my hand. So they should be one nation, all right? And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be and be in thy hand before thy eyes, all right? Hey, it's, so it's a sign, all right? And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and gather them uh, on every side, and bring them out unto their own land. But where's that uh, that grand salvation from? Babylon the Great. Although we're going to be saved from all across the world, man. All right? And I will make them one nation in, in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. All right. And there shall be no more two nations. Neither should they be divided into two kingdoms anymore. All right. Neither should they defile themselves anymore with idols, nor the detestable things, nor uh, any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of their dwelling places wherein they have sinned. And I will cleanse them. And there shall be my people and I shall be their power. And David, my servant, my porter, shall be king over over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. Hmm, who's the shepherd? Yahweh Shai, all right? And they shall uh, also walk in my judgment, uh, my uh, judgments, and, and um, so like it, observe my statutes and do them, all right? Simply put, man. All right, you can read verse 25. And 26, man. You know, you do that on your own time, man. All right? Now, if you're saying, well, maybe uh, uh, the Mexicans are actually Ephraimites. Hey, that could be so, man. Because we scattered everywhere. All right? But this thing is based on faith. Not motherfucking, uh, uh, if you really want to get into it, endless genealogies. All right, we don't know who the, uh, our fathers were, but through the Spirit, we believe our, our forefathers was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we believe we're Israelites, according to the prophecies, man. Simply put, Romans 8 and 14, for as many as led by the Spirit of Yahweh, they are the sons of Yahweh. You got to be led by the Spirit. You have to believe that what you and you have to believe that what you believe is the Spirit. You got to believe it a hundred percent. All right. That and it's called faith, man. All right. The Scripture said we was going to prescribe our names after Jacob. All right. So yeah, through the Spirit, I do believe I'm a Reubenite, man. Do I know if my father was an actual? Uh, Seminole Indian, or do I know if uh, the Seminole Indians were actually actually Reubenites? I believe it according to their spirits, but do I do I know it by DNA? No, it's a thing of faith. All right, so y'all can make a sound bite of that shit all day, man. All right, it says, <clears throat> for hereby we uh, we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but received the spirit of adoption, which is the placement of sons. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father, all right? The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. So these prophecies bears witness with our spirit that we are what? That we are the children of Yahweh. By the things we've been through, all right? And joint heirs of Mashiach, if so, we also, if so be we suffer with him, we shall also be glorified with him, all right? So it doesn't matter how you look, man. It doesn't matter where you at. You can be from any tribe on this planet Earth. I mean, uh, well, you can be from any tribe uh, of Israel, no matter where you at on this planet Earth, man. All right.
But how are you going to believe that? You're going to believe that through the scriptures, man. All right? And guess what? You know who's going to figure all that out when they come back? The angels. All right? The Lord gave them charge. So that's why I started the whole lesson with, it's a glass of darkened, man. Okay? Hey, Paul said I even gotten some of you by gal, man. So even if you want to scoff at that, hey, so be it, dude. You niggas still going off, man, because you feel a certain way, man. All right? This is First John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. All right? So you can't believe every doctrine out here. But try the spirits, whether they be of Yahweh. Guess what? Let each man be persuaded in his own way. All right? I was, hey, I was led by the Spirit, all right? Lined the scriptures up with the scriptures, all right? And I believed what? That the, hey, this Spirit is the Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that I am an Israelite, so on and so forth. That these are the prophecies, man. So on and so forth, man. All right? And according to certain histories and world history and certain precepts and certain scriptures, you can link it up. And through the spirit, you say, you know what? I believe that Issachar is the so-called Mexican. According to what? Hey, that Mayan calendar. All right? They had that, that uh, spirit in the ancient world. So they have it today. They had it back then. That's why, we, hey, even in about Judah. All right? Raising up first. Who was really? It was Negro. So, the, yeah, we can put labels here and there. Through the spirit, we believe that, man. So even if it was the hook, <laughs> I have gotten some of you by gal. Deal with that scripture, nigga. Because it was all for you. How about Shimmy Shai anyway? For a, uh, hey, for uh, uh, um, for the elect to get woken up, man. So you can look at it how you want to look at it, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai did it? All right, it all happened through the spirit, man. All right, and, and through the spirit. Do we not believe that the heathens are who the heathens are through the prophecies, through the scriptures? But you know what? You niggas want to uh, preach for strife and contention, man. Because y'all don't talk about the flip coin. Y'all talk about the heathens. You believe Esau is Esau by the spirit that the so-called Caucasian is pushing. Yes or no? You believe Moab is Moab because of what? Do they not want to be the next world power? Read Second Edgers, dummy. Russia, so on and so forth, man. We believe the uh, the table of charts through spirit and through faith, man. And if you got a problem with that, hey, Romans 3 and 3. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, you can beat it down the street. If you ain't going to agree or whatever, Amos 3 and 3. All right? Oh, Romans 3 and 3, Amos 3 and 3. 2A. 2 ain't agreed, hey, walk down the street the fuck away from me. Yeah, that is how you deal with that. Dummies, stammering lips, mock these motherfuckers sometime. Knock them down a couple of levels, man. You know why? Because they're proud. All right? Like I said, it's not the spirit, the word, and prophecy. So that Romans 8, man. We believe we Israelites by the spirit because we went through the curses, which is part of the spirit, man. All right? We believe we're these certain tribes because we read these scriptures and we believe through the spirit that these are these certain tribes, man. Hey, during Paul's time, a lot of the things of the priesthood was lost, but they still continue to do the things of the priesthood. Did they not? And you can read that scripture. It's written in a certain place. Paul said even up to this time we have forgotten certain, uh, certain things, man. But they still was doing it, all right? But nonetheless, there's one doctrine, there's one truth, man. One spirit, man. So, hey, with that, hey, I pray this is edifying. Call her law in your house by Shemel Shai, by Shemel Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Hey, yeah, double honors to those uh, elders apostles, right? Because you are, oh, ain't no elders, ain't no apostles. Then you, oh, I got an apostle in Amsterdam. That's the only apostle. What? You dummy. Hey, any so-called preacher supposed to call himself an uh, apostle. Because you're supposed to be uh, sent away to do the work of the Lord, man. All right? So you know, you're right. Don't call yourself an apostle. You're sent to do the work of Satan. All right? 
Uh, not the work of your how about Shimmy Al Shine, man. You're a fucking hiring man. All right? But nonetheless, hey, Shalom, a barber ball. All right? Hey, um, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be.